Hello and welcome back to another episode of Game Brigade. I'm your host, Brian, and on this show, we do reviews, previews, and playthroughs of your favorite games. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. So today we're going to be taking a look at my Gloomhaven DIY storage solution uh, for you guys today. So on our one of our previous videos, we did a storage solution using the broken token for Scythe. And that was specifically for the legendary box. It included all the expansions. And in that video, I mentioned that Gloomhaven is one of my most proud DIY uh, storage solutions. And several of you guys commented that you wanted to see it. So I figured, let's take a dip through it and see you know, if it's something that might work for you. Because I am very proud that I am able to have this box, and this is a big box, completely closed. That is uh, one of the crowning achievements for me. So... Let's take a look. But there is a little bit of a caveat there. It's, it's a little bit of a cheat, and I'm going to show you why. So we're going to slide Gloomhaven off to the side while we explain first what I'm talking about. So this, you can't really see it very well, but this is a um, accordion envelope, I believe they're called. And I picked this up from Staples, or some, you know, whatever kind of... Um, like an office supply store, I guess you would say. And what I use this for with Gloomhaven, let's open it up and make sure you guys can see inside there, inside the accordion, are all of the map tiles for the game. So just like any other kind of storage accordion thing, it has letters here on the side, A, B, C, D, through the alphabet. And Gloomhaven, let's pull one out randomly here, has map tiles that are labeled. So this one is M1B, so I'm assuming this is in the M, which it is. So what I did is I got this accordion, has all the labeled letters, and I just threw all the map tiles in here. It fits everything in here. I can then assort them by letter, and then when the um, book is telling me I need to collect M1B, we need A to A, whatever, you know, whatever you know, tiles I need, it's easy for me to go in here and say, okay, I need an A, Grab an A tile, find out which one it wants. Oh, I need a B, find the B, find the M. And then, so that's that's what I use this for. I also have in here uh, two things that were originally in this, and I can store them in there if I wanted to, but I chose not to. And this is the shop and all of the items in the game. And this specifically, I like this. It's a little, you know, things slide around. It's hard to find, oh, just like that. Things slide in and out, which kind of stinks. Um, but what this is, is basically everything in the shop that's purchasable is flipped up and viewable. If there's something missing, that means it's not accessible for us. So if you flip over here, you'll see these are all ex not accessible because we haven't unlocked those yet. So I've gone through and these are also all ordered in order. So 48, 49, 50, all the way through. So when it tells me to unlock item 50, I can come in here. Flip it up, flip it correctly, and then it is now available for the players in the dungeon. So that's the other things. The other thing I keep in here is the uh, rule book and the scenario guide. We don't need to pull those out, but they slide in here perfectly. So I just keep this um, adjacent to my wall of board games. It doesn't fit as well as I'd like in, say, the actual board game wall, but we just kind of keep it to the side. And it's actually the only. This Gloomhaven's the only game I have that's like a third party, that has like a third party, like, like something like this. I don't really do this very often, so. But I tried it for Gloomhaven, and it worked. So let's go ahead and bring, bring Gloomhaven back and make sure that we are properly centered so you guys can see it when we open her up. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look inside Gloomhaven. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna kinda, I, I, I don't have all of the links for everything by the way. I'm just gonna tell you where I purchase things and hopefully that can give you an idea that if you're doing something like this, that you can do it yourself and that it is doable to, to have a pretty solid organizational system going to a hobby store, a beading store, craft store. It's usually when we're almost everything from here was purchased from like a beading store or a craft store. 
So right off the bat, we've got the removable sticker set. As I've mentioned in several of my other videos, I have a hard time destroying things in my copies of games. Um, so I wanted to have the ability to reset Gloomhaven if I ever wanted to. So there'll be several things in here that kind of show you my organizational setup to reset Gloomhaven if I ever chose to sell this or start over. So the removable sticker, sticker set is part of that. Um, there is a section here on the map, and this doesn't really matter too much, but this is just to get to know me as a, as a gamer, um, where you could, you're supposed to mark if you completed a section yet. And I was, I don't like marking on the actual stickers. There's a little checkbox. So I started going through and marking here on the uh, actual board. But what sucks is I've got some marked on the map because I forgot. And then I got some marked in here. And, and then I got confused. And I, I was like, I don't know which ones I've actually done. What have I marked? So I recommend that if you're going to do some sort of uh, tracking system for what maps and campaigns you've done, stick to it because I flippy flopped on this one and it wasn't helpful. So the next thing that we see here, I have four boxes. These are all colored in different colors. These are the player boxes for everyone that's in my current campaign. Everything that's in, that is for a specific character fits in their own individual box so that when we play, all I have to do is take the box and hand it to that player, take the next box, hand it to that player. Each one gets their box. It has their items, their deck, their character sheet. Everything is in here. I found these, I found a pack, I think it was 24 of these in a bigger box, a whole assortment of colors for like four or $5. So I thought it was great because one, it worked great for Gloomhaven and plus I can use those boxes, which I haven't yet used them for anything else, but I can, I have a whole bunch of them. So let's take a look and kind of show you Let's pull those four out to kind of show you what we have here. So this is my character, the Brute. So on the top, we've got my character sheet here. And then we've got some of my items that I've unlocked. We've got the combat deck. And so this is the deck that I have been customizing for my character. And then we have, as well as the, the Brute cards. And in here, I have, this is a, um, the, the plastic that it is on is actually ultra pro sleeve packaging for so like the sleeves come inside this packaging you're generally supposed to throw this packaging away i just repurposed it use those sleeves you know elsewhere i try to save as much as i can that might be useful and now i slide these cards into this to keep it nice and clean but inside here we have i can actually i guess open this up we have sleeved cards and unsleeved cards so any cards that are sleeved are ones that I have unlocked and added it to my character's, uh, you know, inventory. Unsleeved cards are cards I have not yet accessed or unlocked them. So that is how I differentiate. And it might be, you know, if I continue playing this character and I have to keep sleeving cards, and if I keep unlocking cards, I might have to change the sealing packaging. But for right now, it works perfectly well. Okay. So that's the top shelf. We also have here, these are some road and city events. These are ones actually that we have not yet added to our uh, actual gameplay for Gloomhaven. So I put them aside just to kind of store them in their own area. So those are city and road events. On top of that, we have the map. Don't need to open this up, but this is the map where you will sign your stickers and kind of see how Gloomhaven shapes up. Put that down there. Okay, well, we have pencils. I always think it's important to have pencils in Gloomhaven. You're gonna be doing a lot of erasing and writing on your party sheets and your character sheets. So we have three pencils that I purchased at the same hobby store, as well as I have an erase, a, a, a pencil sharpener somewhere in here. We also have a Sharpie to mark on things that require deeper marking that a pencil doesn't cover. So we've got those, that's four items there. And then we have just party sheets. This is just loose stuff. This is a random dungeon that I was playing with some friends that were visiting. We weren't sure if we were gonna continue playing that dungeon or not. So I wanted to set aside their campaign in case we ever play it again. I suspect we won't play this again just because of the, the distance now between, between the whole party. But it's still here in case, you never know, you never know. 
Okay, so put that to the side. This is supposed to go with that. Okay, so now we're kind of getting to the meat of the actual organization. So we're gonna start here from the my right, and we're just gonna move all the way through. So the first thing is just a standard tackle box. Um, I think this, I don't know if this is a Plano box. Plano is the most common tackle boxes. It doesn't have any branding, so I'm assuming it's not a Plano. Um, but I believe I actually bought a whole bunch of these all at the same um, craft store and I bought different sizes because I use them for other games like Joan of Arc has a whole bunch of things like this. Uh, so what I did for these though is I tried to organize them in a way that was useful for the party. So we have coins, we've got the, the most of the stuff is stuff that we don't necessarily need throughout the entire game. So we grab a bunch of standees, we grab a bunch of coins, you know, standees again, some boulders. If we're gonna have summons, we grab some summons. And then traps, sometimes we need traps, so we'll have to grab those later, and then just some more debris. Uh, so we try to grab everything we need for the scenario out of this, and uh, move on. Same thing with the other item. It's another uh, exact same. And what I like about these tackle boxes is that they're fully customizable, so you can change the layout in terms of like, okay, I need this to be a bigger square, I need these to be smaller. So for this one, we have room, uh, obstacles, different types of flooring, um, traps, you know, whatever. Everything, everything in here, again, all for setup of the game. So we try to have everything here for setup. And then we get everything we need out of those and usually we're done. Okay, so we've got two Ultra Pro. So these are the plastic packaging I was talking about. So these are Ultra Pro sleeves. I've got two bo two packs of them. Because we, as we progress through the campaign, we uh, unlock new cards, we have to sleeve new cards. I wanna make sure I've got sleeves on hand so that we never run out. So this stays with the game. Okay, next we have the personal goals. And this is for when you're playing personal goals or when you're playing Gloomhaven, everyone has an, their own personal objective they're trying to complete in that scenario that's secret to them. Uh, I actually purchased uh, a third party uh, addition to those because I felt like the ones that came in the game were repeating too much through the gameplays. So I wanted to add some variety. So you can see this, this is almost um, over double the size of the original deck. It's almost like one and a half times bigger than what comes in the original deck, which is what really, really was nice for me to be able to add a bunch more content to the game and just add a variety. As I say in a lot of my videos that you guys watch, especially the Kickstarter ones, I'm very big on variety and adding a bunch of different um, potential options to our gameplay. So this is one here, another Plano box, very thin as you can see. Um, and this is all for um, debuffs and status effects, things like that. Now we play, when we play Gloomhaven, we're playing with the uh, app so that we can have the app handle most of the status debuffs. So we actually do not use this nearly at all. We barely ever use it. The only thing we grab in here are the uh, invisible tokens. So when someone goes invisible using a cloak or whatever effect, we can actually take their mini off the board and replace it with the little invisible token to show that they are no longer there. And that's just more for aesthetics than really anything else because you can just say, yeah, I'm invisible. So we are then going to, let's take this out. Let's kind of go and make this easy. Here's the pencil sharpener. I keep this with the Gloomhaven, pop it open. You can sh sharpen your pencils, make sure they're always good. And uh, it's been very, very nice. I This is, okay, this is an inex inexpensive sharpener, but I still spent more than I felt like I had to. This is like a $3 sharpener. You could get like a 50 cent sharpener, but I wanted to get one that I felt like was gonna last us through the gameplays. So, and I've been pretty happy with that one. It's been working very well. So moral of the story, sometimes it's better to spend a couple of dollars more. So these are standard uh, Fantasy Flight sleeves. These are for any items we may unlock or anything we might have to sleeve. I carry extra sleeves for that. We already talked about extra sleeves. So we have every sleeve type potentially that we could run into in Gloomhaven is covered. 
So here you can kind of see we have more of the standard stuff that you would see in Gloomhaven. We have all of the character boxes here. So anything that is unlockable is here. And in my copy of Gloomhaven, now I, I've played a lot of Gloomhaven, but I mine personally, my version, haven't played as much. So anything that is unlocked, we have facing this way. All locked characters are facing this way. So my intention was if we ever say unlocked this character, he would slide in like this. Um, but we haven't done that yet. We haven't unlocked anyone actually in our campaign. And then here adjacent to those are the pizza boxes. And let's pull out one to kind of show you that I found. And I got these at a craft store, but you can also buy these on Amazon. These are just little mini pizza boxes. And I'd say they're maybe like three inches by three inches, roughly, um, in terms of size. And so what we keep in here are all of these are all the all of like the tokens or things for the monsters and minions you're gonna fight. So basically what we do, and this actually really helps speed up uh, setup time, is we look at the sheet and it says, okay, you're gonna be facing um, cultists, demons, and corpses, or, you know, or something like that. So we go, okay, we got cultists and spirits here. We got demons here. We pull the box out. We open it up. We have all the standees we're gonna need. So we grab whatever standees we need, and then we're good to go. And then everything goes right back. So I really have appreciated these. The app covers like the combat sheet. So we don't pull that out. We just pull out the standee models that we're gonna need. Okay, so the final things down here, I have two deck boxes. And this is a way that I um, kind of prevent the um, destroying my cards. So in the first deck box here, I've got my city events and then we got road events. And the way these work are, we'll pull out the top card, we'll complete the city event. When I'm done with it, we put it, slide it right behind. Same thing with the road event. We'll read the top, the top road event. We'll then slide it to the back. And that way I don't have to destroy any cards and you know damage my version of Gloomhaven. This one is not necessarily as exciting. It's just uh, legendary items, uh, more player assists, you know, random cards that need to be stored somewhere. Uh, we put them in there. This is an odd shaped uh, turret, like a obstacle for the map, and we found that it's the perfect shape as the board, as the deck boxes. So we use that as like we just put that on top. And then along the side here, we have all of the minis in order. At the very bottom, hidden, we have the envelopes that you open when it prompts you to open your envelopes. And so I'm not going to pull that all out because it's just an envelope but that's that's the idea so you pretty much have everything you need for gloomhaven in one box including player aids to help us increase our setup time in both having everyone's campaign character already organized as well as these boxes to increase setup time so when we play gloomhaven our setup time is maybe like 10, 20 minutes between there, depending on how many people are helping me set up. Uh, a lot of people complain that Gloomhaven has a really bad setup time, and I've never really experienced that. It's actually been no more than any other board game that I've played. Um, so to me, it's it's actually maybe even more than like faster than average. And that's because we have a, a storage solution that for our family and my player group works well and does everything we need it to do. So this is my storage solution. How does it compare with yours? Do you guys like like it? And uh, would you rate it on a, a level of decent or not decent or good? Let me know in the comment section down below. We are still chugging along on the giveaway. I appreciate everyone that's been supporting the channel, following me on Instagram, shouting me out as much as you can. I really appreciate everyone that's given us the support, the push forward to get closer to the 3,000 subscribers. We are nearly there. So I appreciate everyone who is still championing us. If you really want to help support the channel, again, the best thing that you can do is like the video, show us the support, comment down below, as well as share the video. If you have anyone that's in your community or your friends group that you think might enjoy my content, share the video with them. Let me know if you, know, if you do. 
and uh, see if they subscribe. Anything helps. As soon as we get to 3,000 subscribers, we'll get that giveaway going so you guys can get going on that pledge manager. So for today's word, I'm gonna have it be super simple. We'll just name it Gloomhaven. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I hope to hear from you soon. Talk to you later, bye-bye.